box junctions in heavy traffic can be really tricky. I'm going to show how to do them right now in this video. So when you're turning right, you are allowed to go into the box as long as your exit is clear. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your exit is clear, which it is right now. But I'm going to keep an eye on it to make sure that it stays clear before I move forward. So it's completely clear over that side. So I can go in the middle and wait for the oncoming traffic to go past. So I'm just going to position myself right here on top of the box. I'm leaving space for anybody that's coming from this side, turning that way as well. So like this van is doing, I'm leaving in space to do that. And I'm watching out for a nice safe gap here. I'm also looking into the exit as well. And once those cars have stopped, check my mirror, then I can make my move. On this kind of junction, we can see that our turn is quite far away. Uh, because the turn is all the way over there, then that means we're most likely going to be positioning ourselves way over that side over there. And what I'm looking for right now is for any traffic building up on the other side on the road that I'm turning into. And I can see there's a Sainsbury's van just on the other side over there, which means that I might not have enough space to make my turn. And if that's the case, I'll have to wait here by the line. So we'll see what happens when it goes to green. And the Sainsbury's van is moving, so that's going to create some space for us so I can then move forward. And here, the box junction is here, but there's also a section that I can go into. So I can actually position myself in this box here, right in the middle of these two box junctions. And then once the traffic on that side is finished, so I make sure let this person move, I can then make my move as well. So I think there's a little pre-carnival party going on there by the bingo. So hopefully you can hear me through all that um, soca music. I'm going to concentrate on the exit even though there's a party going on over there and it looks clear which means I can go into the middle now just close this a bit and position myself just here and now I'm looking at this light and the, uh, the car's coming from that way as well I'm looking for a nice safe gap and then I'm going to make my turn also looking into the exit it's very clear right now there's no traffic that side so now those cars have stopped because they've got a red light I can check my mirror and then I can make my move Whenever you're doing this, always think about, before you go into the junction, where you're going to position yourself. Because if you think about it afterwards, it might be a bit tricky for you. Have an idea of where you're going to go. So I can see our turn is all the way over there, so it's quite far away from these lights, which is most likely going to be the case that I need to go way over there to wait to make my turn as well. So now that it's gone green, I can go forward now. This person is turning right as well. They indicated a bit late, but that's not a problem. And. There's a box for us to wait in, so I don't have to be in the box actually, I can position myself. I'm sticking into the box a little bit, that's because there's not enough space here. This person could move a bit more forward, but I'm not going to stress too much. But both of us could have fit in there if he moves forward, but I'm just going to wait for him to go forward a bit, and then I can make my turn. So my, the back of my car is still in the box, box junction, and then now, looking for a safe gap over there. So because this is gone, doesn't mean that it's safe, I want to make sure that I can go first. So this car is slowing down, then I can make my turn. So now that I'm going straight, I need to be really careful to make sure that the exit is clear because I can't stop in the box if I'm going straight. And I can see there's traffic building up over there, so I'm just going to slow down a bit. I'll just stop here. Because you see those traffic building up, and if I'd gone forward, I probably would have been stuck in the box. But because I slowed down and then I watched the light change, it made sense to keep stopping here. What you don't want to do is end up in a situation like, uh, like this, where you're, where you're stuck in the box, even though the light's gone uh, green for the other people. So to avoid that, make sure your exit is clear first. So now I'm going straight. I can see the exit is completely clear because there's no traffic there. So I don't have to worry about being stuck in the box. And then we've got another box here. I can't tell how much space there is in front of uh, the box and behind that car. So if you're not sure, if you're a bit un unsure about whether this, the space is big enough for your car or not, just wait behind the box. It's not worth risking and then going forward and then realizing afterwards that you didn't have enough space. So now I can see that car had enough space, but I didn't know. So it's better to find out the easy way than find out the hard way. 